how do you go about making a good portfolio wow and um, i think more on when we say good portfolio i think a couple of things we like to delve into is do you when you make a portfolio do you target where you're sending it out to like if you're applying to a certain place do you put work that's specific to that or do you just express yourself who you are yeah. as a artist and designer like what's your take on this and building up slightly on that most of us when we start out in our early days we sort of want to put out more volume mm-hmm. yeah or we target we create our style in a specific way that can get us into certain places mm-hmm. so how would what would your piece of advice be how would you look at a good portfolio so yeah. i mean why don't you go first okay <laughs> so, I so that so that i don't yeah. steal your answer <laughs> <laughs> okay so uh, i think it comes down to two things okay i get this question asked a lot uh, mm-hmm. from a lot of people in emails when i go workshops so on uh, how do we build a portfolio and they also ask me like, how did you build a portfolio that got you into disney right so mm-hmm. uh, the thing is uh, one thing uh, is when you're building a portfolio especially if it is to get into a specific company it needs to be tailored for them mm-hmm. and you don't make like for example if you're trying to get into a place like disney you don't put some dark fantasy stuff in yeah. it even if that's your best work because yeah. disney has no use for that mm-hmm. uh, which is why a lot of people who have really good art styles they apply to the wrong place thinking that they get in which does not justify the art style like the art style might be great in another place but then if you're applying to a place which has no relation to their art style you're not doing yourself justice mm-hmm. so if you want to go into a place like i'm only speaking from the entertainment industry like disney or a game studio called blizzard or things like that mm-hmm. you make art that is that they can use because they are not going to look at your portfolio and be like wow some genius came with their art style let's <laughs> let's like disrupt six years of our ip and let's make this yeah. No, they're gonna right. they they're gonna need an asset which they can take and put directly into the team, yeah. because they've been working on stuff for many years. So mm-hmm. if you're going for a a place like that, like a portfolio for that, you need to tailor it and even write your mail accordingly, like to that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because I see a lot of college people they just some like recently when someone sent me a mail where the whole mail was in the subject. <laughs> like, like I kid you not, it is. I was, I was like so confused. Uh, so that that's the thing. And the other one, uh, just to quickly talk about it, is if you're creating a demand for your art as an individual, mm-hmm. then you kind of make a name for yourself and do whatever you want in that. Mm-hmm. And your portfolio could be your website, could be your brand, all of that. That's a different category. Mm-hmm. This is where you don't want a job. This is where you want right. to stand out. Mm-hmm. That you need to own it. And mm-hmm. by own it, I mean make something, shout it out to the world, be confident. this is what my art is this is what it is and that's a different portfolio yeah those those two categories are there yeah that's 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 a, so i wish someone gave me that advice while i was trying to apply for internships making like a my year ago yeah yeah, oh, yeah. 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 So i think it's yeah yeah you're absolutely right i think you need definitely if you're if you're targeting a niche yeah. you need to tailor it for sure even if you're pitching it to someone mm-hmm. yeah. like your portfolio or like an idea you obviously have to make sure that they see the value in it so but like for someone who's starting out people who are just in 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 that space where they're just like finishing college they're mm-hmm. just starting out they're just going to be like i've done so much in these college yeah. courses yeah. that i don't even know what i'm going to do with this mm-hmm. like right. some weird right. projects yeah and they tend to give life to it in very different ways mm. like they'll probably put their entire case study mm. as you know a project in their portfolio yeah. obviously when you say portfolio it's always like your website which yeah. has a work section yeah or it could just be like a pdf which is which has like three or two sheets yeah. dedicated to one project that's also fine yeah um i think i mean you already answered for the entertainment industry i would say if you want to desi- apply to a design studio mm-hmm. then it's more about like because you're 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 being you're being a part of this one workforce which are going to have multiple challenges mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so they probably when they want to see when when they're hiring they would want to see how how appropriate this person would be if i throw anything at him mm-hmm. right or her or they okay. or whatever yeah. um but like it's mostly like y- your your projects that you do in college again you, how you bring life to it but like it's just it could be a very well curated documentation mm-hmm. of like uh different kind of things that you've yeah. done mm-hmm. like you've made a chair in one project mm-hmm. you've yeah. made like um a full campaign of mm-hmm. like i don't know murals around the yeah. city right. or you've done some packaging for a perfume thing yeah. it's just it shows 
that you have the skill mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you have what it takes to make this when this was your problem statement or your project brief yeah. then people will see value in you they will be like okay maybe i can use because then they see you as an asset which is a great thing to mm-hmm. be looking forward to if you want to jo- join a design yeah like industry like right. this is a portfolio that you would offer to someone and you you're going to be like if i work with you yeah um i'm probably going to be helping you because i i did this uh where i had these problems and that could be like this the smallest problem like i want i want i want to sell this lemonade mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and i built a menu card yeah. to build to allow people to like look at the lemonade i built a cart yeah i built a bo- it could be just so yeah. simple yeah. it doesn't have to be out of the world right and that's if it's if it's for a visual thing like strategy wise you could be like i only wanted to target yeah. old uncles in the park so yeah. i made the branding in a way that old uncles would come because yeah. they had money to pay 50 bucks instead of 10 bucks for the mm. lemonade it's like a lot of that yeah. so make the portfolio obviously keep it extremely concise because oh. i am surprised that you read the subject of the email <laughs> <laughs> i thought that when people email you they would just be so many i think that's why they he, poor person poor guy <laughs> like just put everything on the subject of i just need direct attention right now <laughs> but like yeah i think it's it's a lot to do with that mm. people who are reviewing it need to know that you respect their time yeah. mm. so you've put a lot of thought into what is it that i'm going to show this person the five minutes that he's going to spend on me yeah. they have to be worthwhile and especially when you're not there mm. to pitch yeah. it to them yeah. it's a pdf or yeah. it's a link um there's so many things but like again like i think what you said like have fun yeah but just put some thought into it you're right <laughs> some thought into it 